Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous Shadow Heart Edition. In our last episode, we managed to defeat Votiel in battle with surprising ease. <laughs> and in doing so, learned a good deal more about Wolgif's background and just what is in store for his future. Uh, more of that will be revealed in, I believe, uh, chapter four. Uh, in this episode, we're supposed to go to, or at least my plan is to take care of Greybor's next task, which is, of course, to trick the, or to trap the dragon, I should say. Uh, but before we go there, I noticed there's actually a quest for me to tell Irabeth what happened to her forces down in Winter Sun, and then I gotta go back to Winter Sun as well for something else, so we're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of. It's funny that it's not listed on the map there, or else I would've seen that a long time ago. Alright, we're back. And here's Irabeth, so we'll talk to her real quick. Irabeth suits you with sincere respect. Good afternoon, Commander. What can I do for you? We learned the fate of the missing patrol. Our people were killed by clan members from old Sarkoris. They had been bewitched by the demon Jerabeth. Survivors from Sarkoris? In the middle of the world wound? They must be made of tough stuff. I'm sorry they've been sent against us. Irabeth grits her teeth. I'm sorry we're still for our soldiers. We're losing our people to demon trickery again. But at least the mystery solved and it won't happen again. Indeed. Okay, so with that taken care of, the next thing I'm going to do is actually gonna I'm gonna go ahead and haul off to Chili Creek, because someone popped over to give us a very, very friendly donation, and they even have something for us over there that was way too heavy for him to take with him. I'm honestly kind of surprised he didn't just, like, get some people together and get a cart going. Um, didn't exactly... So, that being said, uh, we'll go, like, let's see, and it's... I got it about 14 hours before that, unfortunately. So, I'll go ahead and haul on over there. I actually managed to get this fort uh, outpost here upgraded to an actual fort. And I've got plenty of buildings along the way, which is good. And I'm working on something way farther to the east. I think it was... Um, I think it was this one? I can't really remember, but it's, uh, it's not important. But anyway... I'm going to work on getting some forts together, and as I deduced from getting some buildings put together into forts, you basically have to have an outpost upgraded to a fort before you can put a teleportation circle on it, which kind of sucks, I know, but that's just the way it goes. So we will now haul on over as slowly as we possibly freak out. Oh, hello. Yeah, more monsters are coming. Well, um, let's see, I don't know one they're coming for. It's the ones that are weaker. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. And they can just go wherever the heck they want. Um, I would not be surprised if they were going to go for one of these forts again. In fact, I'll keep an eye on his movements because I think I know which uh, way he's going to go. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Actually, oh, stop a second. Oh, for crying out loud, someone's ready. You know, I just got to thinking. Oh, wow, okay. Folks are moving fast. Alright. Where the hell are you heading towards? It'd be kind of nice if they had a different color to them. Uh, he's only level uh, five, right? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm actually... Okay. So you guys are going to laugh at me. But I've actually got uh, another main army going, uh, getting put together. I basically put together a bunch of uh, mercenaries. So I thought, you know what? Why don't we just have an army set? Because I will bet anything they will go for Gloomy Gorge. We're going we're gonna to have them head on over this way. Because in that way, I don't have to worry about an army rushing over to... Uh, I'm going to have these guys run excellently. Hang on a second. You guys right here. Okay, uh, just a bunch of elementals. I was going to say, I was going to have this main army go after this uh, demon army right here. Uh, oh, hey, cool. 
Nice. Uh, yeah. Stop stopping! God damn it. Okay. It's like, how many freaking points do you have to go through on this? I mean, I guess it could be worse. It could be like in Kingmaker where we have to like discover every single resource node before we can claim a goddamn country. Oh. So much fun. Yay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So we have fire elementals, regular old cultists that can't do shit, and earth elementals. Okay, I'm gonna have you. Well. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Just use a fireball. It's not gonna... Actually, wait. Hold up a second. Better idea. I got this ice storm. Here we go. It ac it's actually way better than the, uh, you know. Because then it also slows down. Uh, 88, 1d6 plus 2. 1d8 minus 3. Nice. Right, yeah, I'll take these guys out then. Point. Stop. Yeah, let him go. <laughs> uh, poor guys can't move very far, can they? <laughs> and they're not even evil, so I'll just, yeah. There we go. We win! Not that hard. At all. After all, you never know what relics we could find, right? Oh, check it out! Unexpectedly, the enemy's leader's tent turns out to be a ship shape and tidy. Behind glass, an Arcanamirium Magical College Diploma hangs on a post. In the chest, there is a ceremonial graduation robe and several magic inventions and patents. The brainchild children of the late cultist leader. One can only speculate on the tragedies that made him lead such a wretched existence. We have the eye for an eye composite short bow. Uh, okay. Composite enhanced possibility. Whenever this plus three composite short bow lands a hit on an enemy, the enemy suffers an additional 1d12 piercing damage. We are absolutely taking this. Oh my god! Yes. Okay, so with that taken care of, um, I need to get my armies running around again. So, that forts. Eh, I'm not sure about that one. That's asking a bit too much for us to take at this point. Um, and that demon army is just randomly set to go. Okay. Well, I mean, I know I'm working on a sidelining army to take care of it, that, but I don't know if I'll work on that. Um, okay. What I want to do, though, is set this army down here, because there's a lot of enemy groups we can take out. Uh, there's a four and a five, so thought those are randomly spawned in. Um... And I'm not worried to worry about my chances with this army. I think they're gonna do just fine. Um. Yeah, we can. We can. Let's see. Let's see if we can take them on. Okay. Uh, let them play. Not that hard. Oh, and we level up. Hooray! Inspiration. Plus 15 bonus to combat morale. Uh. Sure, why not? So I'll student. Um what about this army? It's got quite a few things. I think it's even I think those are Baylors, if I remember correctly. That icon on the far left. I mean we can try. Screw it. I already saved it, so we're good. In case something bad goes wrong. I love the double negatives I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. That's a Baylor bitch. Ugh. <laughs> the good news is I've got enough marks to take him down in a single shot. Which is more than can be said for having to Oh, that's an Ooleo Drew. That's what a Queen Cherubuff is. I fucking hate those things. Um Let's see here. So we're gonna wanna take out the one okay. Now unfortunately this guy doesn't have fireball, so that Sucks. So, let me see the movement range. Okay, not bad. All right, can't move much further. I'll bet anything they all have ranged attacks though. So, this fucker can summon. Oh, is that some good? Now this guy we obviously do not want to leave alive for obvious reasons. We can't use uh, 
fire attack on him, but that's not a big deal. Let's see here. That's a Baylor. The oh my oh really? Okay, well. We might as well talk him out, because it looks like we have a shot at one shotting. Fine, whatever. <laughs> and you're done. Yeah, and then of course they keep summoning things because why the hell not? Unfortunately, Ulio Drews are um just magnanimously tough. So I'm just gonna have you do that. Okay. Let's have you go here. Or not. Alright. How good okay. Yeah, I'll have you go after this one. Bam. Okay. Uh and then let's use oh, wait, you're the magic you're the magic Nine, one, five to twenty-three, six to twenty-four. Uh Yeah, I don't I don't want to deal with any more of these two. Oh my god, that was terrible. Okay, we'll use my evil on you. And then we'll just Yep, there he goes. Of course he's gonna use one. Uh let's see here. I see the Uli Drew can go next, and the Omox as well. So yeah, let's... Okay. We'll hit the Omox with you. Nice. And then we'll hit the Uli Drew with you. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then... I will hit... You. That's good. Oh, nice. And then we'll hit the these things and we'll do it again god freaking morale bonus on this is amazing okay yeah i had a feeling the sorcerers wouldn't be able to do much with physical hits uh go ahead and wait oh crap no ah! damn it i knew that was gonna happen all right there we go. And of course, he ran up. Oh, like, I'm sorry. I just don't like how you can't run the. Anyway. <laughs> Should probably stop complaining about it. Okay. Damn. These wolf riders really aren't that good. Which kind of sucks. Okay. There we go. We got him now. We're all right. We even recovered all our marksmen. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Any level? Hooray! Uh, oh, okay. Now he gets a fucking fireball. Sure, why not? Right, <laughs> <laughs> damn it, man. What the hell? All right. Um, and then we have, oh. Oh dear! That's not a nice looking like, demon army. They're made up of people that screwed us over. Alright. Um. I'm gonna go over here, and that's about it, so. Alright. And I think that's all my armies can do. Those are just concepts. I, I, just, I still don't know what the hell to do with <laughs> So. Okay. Back to my peeps. Um. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they're already getting tired. Two of them, anyway. Shit. Do I have anything that could remove fatigue? I'm gonna take a look real quick. Okay, good news. I have scrolls of reduce of resource and lesser, which eliminate fatigue. Unfortunately, my <laughs> dear lady Shadowheart also has fatigue, but she has a restoration of her own. I think the regular one. So anyway, the biggest reason 
I came back here is because let's see it's because I completely Sorry. forgot there's a Turindalove's claw and here's the thing even though I have no uh, intentions of doing the Golden Dragon Path you know what you're doing. Good. I never thought I nevertheless thought to myself, I should at least go for, um... Well, what's a little more blood in one's hands? I should go for the claw, because number one, experience. And number two, it's kind of good to, you know, learn the story of the whole thing. So let's go ahead and go in, because I have a be bit of vengeance to extract on my, uh, let's see here. Are we up? Are we at the beginning? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Really? Fine. Okay, fine. Watch this head. And I'll, um, I'll just off-screen this travel. And then when I get to the dead acnes that caused me so much trouble a long time ago, I will cut that fight and I will see you guys there. Okay, so we're here with the dead acne. Got so excited in fighting, I almost forgot to talk. Um... Go? And yeah, it didn't, uh, okay. Anyway. Um, let's see here. Retreat is not an option. Go? And let's see here. God damn, you still have this on? That's awesome. One hour per day per Oracle lower. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, can I hit them both with my lightning? I can. Beautiful. Okay. Simply business. Ah, beautiful. That's actually really good for a sneak attack. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, let's see here. What you have that might. I don't have much besides fireball because I'm stupid and didn't take anything else. Well, actually, I do have much as well. I love it. Okay. Well, will empower it, and then I will take a few pot shots at you. Beautiful. Right, here we go. Ah! Yep, that's what I thought. Well, thankfully, she knows what a... She hasn't been confused enough to forget what an opportunity attack is, so that's something. Lady, sorry, I suck at your job. All right. All right. Beautiful. Okay, now, of course... Yeah, everybody's been confused, so... Um... Unfortunately, any effects that we have will last for um, an additional round afterwards. Or longer. Okay, there we go. Uh, I wish it would just end. But anyway. No use crying over spilt milk. Alright, we got some goodies, including an old grimoire. Grant his owner three slots for one, two slots for two. And two for level three, the worst spell casting class with the highest cast level. Oh shit! Oh nice, that's awesome. Um, let's see here. Does your okay? Yeah, the thiefling uh, is a spontaneous, so I don't think that'll work. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give it to uh... Shadow. All right. Um, where is it at? Or is this an equipable? Where do, where do I equip it? Hmm. Let me check. Oh, it's right there. All right, cool. Works for me. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. All right. So we got that. Ah, damn, that's a nice item. I should have gotten that a long time ago. Um. Here's a trap that we can disable up here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm good. Pretty good, aren't I? Did it work? Why is it still? Oh wait, that's a different trap. Gosh dang it! Oh, I hate these caves. You have to go everywhere just to disarm everything. Uh, it's freaking annoying. All right. Um. Hit hello. What's that? Oh, wait. Yeah, I had a feeling these. Uh. Let's see, Does somebody have it? Yeah, you have it. Thank goodness. I knew. I, I had a feeling those would still come in handy. Okay. Uh, they don't have a lot of help, help though, so I don't think it'll be that big a deal. Okay. Here. Keep the empowered on. Make every strike count. Nice. One shot to one. Unfortunately, um, we're out of view of the other, so I'm just gonna. Throw a throwaway summon in to uh, deal with it. Okay, and then this piece of crap. Alright, we're gonna use. Uh... Yeah, there's really any enemies there, so we're gonna hit the Rackney with it. Um... Actually, you know what? Just use one of these. Don't go anywhere. Alright. Well, let's see here. It's fireball time, kiddos. I assume my summons will be safe as well with the uh, modification. I made. Cool. He's good. All right. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh wow, that was a terrible throw. Probably shouldn't have. Probably shouldn't have twirl, twirled around like an idiot, dude. Okay. Well, fuck my life. And unfortunately, let me see some here. See, the problem is now he has a short bow, so he's not going to be able to travel very far. The wrong Beautiful. By golly. Okay, I guess the Drachny summoned. Swarm, so we didn't have to worry about him. Meditate on your mistakes. It might make you feel better. Damn, I'm so glad I found that. Eye for an eye. An extra 1d12 can make a world of difference. Alright. Go ahead. Well, let the. Oh, damn you. You're in my way. Fuck off. Look, these plants are pretty sick. Me, blah, 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 blah. Alright. <laughs> Here's a trap. Might be trap, might be treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my kind of work. All right, cool. Yeah, let's not run over the trap, please. You'd be very amazed and horrified at how absolutely deadly traps can be in these games. They're oh, just feeling rather worn down today. Well, you're not. This you're fine. Kind of work. Okay. Ah, uh, I think the axe might vanish. <laughs> That's fine, I don't care. Um, I don't imagine Terendalev's claw disappeared. I didn't even find where it was at, so it's probably just... Right. But I just thought, even if I'm not doing the Golden Dragon Path, it would be worth it just to find the damn thing and at least see what the storyteller has to say, because I've never done that before. Alright. Unless, of course, I already found it in that. My tail is twitching. Must be a sign. Second. It is! Oh. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Am the apothecary. Uh, natural armor plus one. Plus four morale bonus against saving throws against poison. That is completely and totally useless. Alright. Uh. Oh, shoot. Because for all I know, I might... Hang on. I don't think I... Stupid... Sorry about that. My keyboard likes to be funny. Yeah, all I have are her scales. So... Hey then. Well, let's just look around and see if we can find the damn thing. I'll be back when I do. Okay. Tail sting. That. 
and the voice of hollow it's not our claw but it still looks this. okay heavy mace plus two mithril uh whenever the wielder of this plus two mithril heavy mace confirms a critical hit with it a loud sound is produced on enemies within a 30 foot cone except the target have to pass a will saving throw voice or be affected with voices of the hollow effect for 1d4 rounds Voices follow. Every turn, the target is randomly affected with one of the following. 50% chance they behave normally, will suffer 2d6 time damage, or 50% chance they attack the nearest creature. Yep. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Uh, Mithra items count as silver. Huh. Cool. Because otherwise, you have to be plus three minimum just to beat out silver and all that crap, so. Um, now, there are a few items up here, so I will want to go over there and check that out. Here we go. We finally found it. Okay, you have to hit a an. A, gosh dang it! I cannot believe it. It was right there, and I completely missed it. I thought it was going to be somewhere around here, but okay. Well, anyway, it says a massive claw. Uh, judging by size, got a much more longer silver dragon. And there we go. A piece of Turandalus claw. Notable. All right. Oh, thank goodness we finally got that done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and head out. And then actually. Before I even go anywhere, I'm going to take a nap here. And then when I'm done with that, we're going to head on over to Chili Creek. I will see you guys there. Okay, just uh, found a safe place to rest. Uh, right now we have a couple reports going on. Storm's Peak, the stronghold of the fierce Karamzadeh, has been captured and raised to the ground. Mighty Baylor and his army will no longer be able to threaten Dresden from this location. Uh, Krams opted to avoid a fight, leaving the Citadel in the last moments of the battle, but there's no doubt that he will attempt to avenge such an event, so... Wait! Yeah, it's been a long time, now. Okay. And then we also have this one, Lan wants to talk. Alright. Sounds good to me. I have a feeling that will be our... Um, his next, uh, side quest. So, with that taken care of, we'll go ahead and... Finish the journey to Chitty Cr Oh, hello? Uh, yes I do! I think I know who this could be! Ah, there he is. The good old Skelly Jelly. What's up, man? Uh, what do you feel now? <laughs> we'll do exotic wars from far away lands next, but for now, we'll go ahead and jump. Okay. Finally got that done. I managed to get the regular kinetic diadem for... Land. 50,000 gold. And a lot of uh, items I had to get rid of. Which was a bit of a pain in the butt. But I can tell you right now, it was absolutely worth it. Um, okay. More demons are approaching, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, okay. So, now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and continue on the way. Oh, crying out loud. Chili Creek. And there's a carcass of no no creatures. Okay. God damn. I missed out on some shit. I'll have to check those out later. Um For now I will go ahead. Save the game and enter. Okay, so we made it. It's not a wolf that howls in night. It's not a bittern that cries in the fen. The fisherman sway slowly from side to side. As he sings a mournful dirge, a woman, her face red and swollen from weeping, lifts a small doll made from grass and seaweed above her head and ties it to a branch with a light blue ribbon. It's not the falling rain that binds my sight, it's the grief of my broken, bleeding heart. What's happening here? Shush, be quiet! What's happening? What's happening is that Livana's son died two days ago. Her eldest, of course. So we're here commemorating the poor child. What does the doll mean? The doll represents a person who died. That's what it means. When someone dies, we hang a doll here in their memory. And this is the place where we mourn our dead. Others bury their dead in the ground or keep their ashes in urns, but our dead sleep at the bottom of the river. The river always claims her own, you know. Child or old man, it doesn't matter. Every one of us will drink of the icy water someday. See the white shores of the icy rail? That's not sand. It's the bones of our ancestors. And one day, we will join them. How do you die? You want to know how he died? She begged him not to get too close to water. Told him so many times to stay on the shore. He's her first one, you know. But he didn't listen to his mama. He went swimming and got a leg cramp and, well, 
What the more is there to say? You can't cheat the river. I see. The typical affirmative superstitions of uneducated village folk. Oh, it's sure. You think you're so smart, don't you? Get out of here and let people mourn peace. What's so special about firstborns? Too curious for your own good, eh? People are mourning. They didn't come to answer all your questions. They came here to grieve. Go on and leave us in peace. I have to go. The fisherman ignores you and continues to sing the moral footage. Yeah, I can tell you uh, without a doubt in my mind. That ain't why they're mourning. <laughs> um, okay. Actually, hold up a second. This villager right here. And I can't make her confess. Okay. Damn it. That sucks. Very well, then. I will go... Ah, eh, shit. Okay, I gotta go this way. The rain's kind of throwing me off here. Hey, it's Jernog, and, uh, wait a minute. Jernog, what? Why do you have a radius around you all of a sudden? What you been up to, buddy? Uh, the priest appears to be lost eyes. Face is troubled, but his eyes light up when he sees you. Oh, hello. And I can't seem to, okay. The villagers are performing some kind of ritual on the outskirts of the village. They were singing songs. Yes, I noticed the priest nods gloomily. But at least I finally understand what the dolls are put in the trees. Each one represents a person who has died, their body lost in the waters of the river. If a doll has died by the great ribbon, the person died on land, and their remains were sent downstream in a boat. Dark blue ribbons represent those who have drowned. The light blue are used to signify the drowning of a firstborn, an eldest child. And there are a frightening number of light blue ribbons on those branches. Ha 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 ha! Hmm. Makes me wonder. Okay. Something strange is going on in this village. You don't have to tell me. Take the people who are performing the memorial service for the drowned boy, for example. When they discovered he drowned, they just shrugged. He was a firstborn, they said. And that was that. It was like they expected it. There was no surprise, no sense of bewilderment, no deep grief. There was just sad resignation. It almost seems so strange. How do you like living here? I'm getting used to the way of things. I still get the occasional sidelong glance from the locals, but that's not surprising. After all, I'm just some stranger who decided to show up without an invitation to sell down the village. But the church warned us about this. Such caution is to be expected at first. I just have to do my best to earn their trust. I heal, I purify the water, I give blessings. Sooner or later, they will accept me as one of their own. Some of them have already accepted me as one of their own. Unless it really likes my songs. We see each other every day. Either she'll come to see me, or I go to pay them a visit. Marco always frowns when he watches us together, but she doesn't seem to care at all. She just laughs sweetly and stares at me with those big green eyes. You know, the priest smiles dreamily. There's a reason that Aristotle guided me to this village. Being this woman will deserve the long journey. The horrors of Canabras and all the hardships of a fisherman's life. It's so quiet here. More makes you forget what peace feels like. I understand. My time in Canabras gave me a small taste of war. I only had to live through it for a few days, but I know the horrors I witness will haunt my nightmares for years to come. I cannot imagine how hard it is for those like yourself, soldiers who have given their lives to the cause. The priest places a hand on his heart. You have chosen to fight there in order to protect your peaceful, quiet life here, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. What do the locals think of them? They're indifferent. They're pragmatic people, you know. They don't have time for theology. If old die helps them survive, that's good enough for them. You know, some priests get overzealous with sermons. They demand that people pray, observe all the rituals, make sacrifices. And then those priests, all holy and pious, are surprised when locals kick them out of the village right in the nearest ditch. The priest laughs. I was taught differently. First, you have to prove your worth. You have to show them why you and your deity are useful. It's only after they've become to trust you and start asking questions about your faith that you can really share your beliefs. Then you can tell them all about old Dai and his teachings. Bye-bye. All right. Can I ask him uh, about... Okay. It must be lagged for a later encounter then. And I'm guessing... Okay. Well, in any case, I think I know exactly why they're, uh, they have the blue wars. It's because... So, I'm not going to spoil it right now. But there is a quest that reveals why exactly those, uh, you know... Why there's so many of those, uh, light blue ribbons. The firstborns. And there's no doubt in my mind that those, uh, with the aura are responsible for those light blues. Look, the commander's here. Welcome back. 
Please, stay for as long as you like. Marco, Marco, you told me your village had taken a collection to aid the army? Right, here you are. Just like I said, go ahead and take it. We're just glad to help anyone we began. Nice. How are things going? Things haven't been good of late. The whole, the widow Lavona lost her oldest, oldest son the other day. He drowned. She told him not to get too close to the river, but when we have to, when our children ever listen to our mothers, the icy real wants something, she'll get it sooner or later. That's a fact. The boy was firstborn after all. She loves firstborns. Our river loves him to death. <laughs> yeah, the river. <laughs> now, now, enough of such horrible talk. I'm a firstborn too, and I'm still fine, alive and kicking. I can see the criminal aura surrounding you, Markle. Is that so? Markle scratched his head. That's the last thing I'd expect. I've never done anything criminal in my entire life. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're so full of shit. My brother's telling the truth. Anyone in the village would vouch for him. What kind of ritual are the villagers performing in the grove near the outskirts? Which villages? The ones who are singing songs? No, that's not a ritual. They're holding a memorial service. We don't bury our dead underground. We put them in boats and release them into the embrace of our mother, Icy Rill. But that's only when someone dies on land. When the river takes someone, well, there's obviously no body put in a boat. So people sing songs in their memory and leave dolls in the trees. Um, um, let's see here. I feel like I've said these. Yeah. Yeah, I've just, Okay. Well, anyway. Leave it alone. And don't kill anybody for crying out loud because we have a quest to do here at... Uh, chapter 5 is when all of this is going to get resolved. But for now, I think that's all I can hope to do. So we'll go ahead and leave. And I will see you guys back at the mount because i'm probably i'm gonna do a little bit more traveling around to gather some things oh no whatever will we do hopefully <laughs> all right okay um let's see here okay so here i am at chili creek uh the carcass of an unknown creature is uh down here and unfortunately let's see travel here go here boom got some goodies um and that's another regent uh area excuse me all right i'll go ahead and uh travel to the now post another traveling merchant really some bitch is he just always around this area? Or did I just get really, really lucky? Because I don't know. I mean, I doubt he stays in a specific spot. It's not labeled on the map for crying out loud. But it's possible that, um... Here you go. Okay. Yeah, there's some items I always sell. Um, God damn, look at these. Good stuff. Don't have a lot of money, though. And I have to save some if I want to keep uh, Greyborn in my party, which is kind of important, uh, quest-wise. Anyway, that was the exotic wares from faraway lands. Um, We'll do PPE. Yeah, I love how they use terminology from stuff that you have to wear during work, work hours to keep yourself safe from injury and such. And yes, my day job requires PPE, just so you know. There's a fun little fact about me. Okay. So I will go ahead. I'll go ahead and rest here again. Because I think... Let's see... Yeah, it'd be nice if I could... Never mind. Um, yeah, we made it to this. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and just rest here. Your place is on a gallows thief. Not a company of satyrs. Ooh, going for the gallows today? Very nice. Did you get lucky last night or something? Usually you're threatening me with a pyre. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead 
and move along to the hollow tree. Let's see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move on to the hollow tree. I'm basically going to keep on going as far as I can in terms of uh, places where I can extract regions and such. And we'll keep on going until my uh, corruption gets too high and then we'll just uh, head back to the city and then start doing something else. Okay, got those. Mm. Ah, I gotta fight. Okay, hang on. Oh, and of course, I love the fact that I'm now fatigued while doing that. That's just great. Ah, shit. Of course, it's a god for Zegan. Okay. Hang on. There's a goddamn Drachny. You won't survive me. Oh, nice! Got him. Beautiful. Okay, um... Yeah, go ahead and beef up your armor class. Okay. I can use this. It's just, it looks like it's just that the Drachne is succubus. Beautiful. Nice. That was good. And unfortunately, I couldn't get back on my animals, so. It's not a big deal. I'll just charge his ass. Oh, you goddamn dog. Oh, wait, there's a giant spider behind us. Okay, well, that's just great. Well, I say we focus on uh, the dead acne so we won't get killed. There we go. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about you. Damn! Beautiful. Okay, uh, this, this fucking sucky bucking. Um. Well, that was terrible. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Good job. You don't want me to fight tired, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. All right. Um. Here, we'll just exit the area for now. See me freaking Christmas. Because yeah, I'd rather rest on the map. Because then I don't have to, you know. Uh, click the campsite in the right spot just so we, you know, get a rest going. Okay. Okay. Taken care of. Now I'll go to the marked rock and pick up some of these things. And, you know, even if the regions themselves aren't really worth grabbing, it's kind of fun to at least, you know... Let's see. Now that's an actual location, so I'm not going to go there. Um... I have no idea how we even get to the uh, shallow grave. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, the ruins of Ashbury later. Um, I'll go over here. Uh, actually, before I forget, I'll I'll keep going later. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Now there's not very many enemies here, so I might send this army back because new influx of uh, military units just arrived and I need to uh, keep this army going strong. Alright. In the meantime, let's go ahead and uh... Oh! And the Queen of Sears! They made it! Alright, cool. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so uh, ran around and Bought some more enemies. Did some more army stuff since I... And I was able to take down a group that uh, gave us another relic. The Attractive Impulse. Okay, it says... The commander's unit was awestruck at their discovery. A small army of crusaders had taken a rest stop in the middle of the world wound and decided to arrange a tournament. The noble knights playfully frolicking, however, ended in a bloody massacre, to which he were blithely oblivious, as warrior's eyes were entranced by the queen of the current tournament. A magnificent nude succubus... Aren't they all? Who observed the crusaders with a gracious smile as he blew off each other's heads? 
blew off each other's heads with what? They have muskets or something? A scarlet gemstone sat in a delicate web of finest steel gleamed on her bosom. The fight was brief but very brutal. With deep sorrow, the commander's warriors eyed the corpse of their brothers in arms. They had fallen into a demon trap. Uttering the words of Ayamide, an officer ripped the magnificent decoration from the second Mrs. Bosom. Even after death, her cold, beautiful lips still wore her smile of contentment. The Attractive Impulse At the time when the Aslanti Empire was still savoring its golden age of might and glory, the name of Hecatrix was familiar to everyone in the city of Golden Gates. Hecatrix was a queen of courtesans and the most beautiful of women. Her heart-winning power was so great that even kings and queens could not harm her. The cruelest assassins would prostrate themselves at her feet like loyal hounds. Impressed by her beauty and sensuality, the goddess Shailen, goddesses Shailen and Kalistra decided she should be their priestess and quarreled fierce ferociously over her. Shrewd Hecatrix never was a chooser. She always wanted it all, so she praised each goddess in secret when her rival was not present. She was collecting all the blessings of Shailen and Kalistra in a beautiful gem until one night the truth about her deception was revealed. Both goddesses were enraged by her betrayal, and while the kind Shailen forgave the traitorous, Kalistra decided to destroy her. In the course of an unbridled, wine-fueled, nocturnal orgy of debauchery, the Queen of the Courtesans was torn to pieces by a crowd driven mad with lust. No one paid any heed to Hecatrix for 200 years until one day the sin-soaked soul of a succubus with a magnificent scarlet gemstone on her bosom awakened in the abyss. The gemstone was called the Attractive Impulse. The gem combined the passion and lust of the Queen of Courtesans with the blessing of two goddesses, which together forged a dangerous and alluring relic. Ah, nice. Okay. Now, there are a couple other armies here that I don't like the idea of fighting, but part of me wants to do it anyway. Some Dimsdale Demodans over there. But, uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. And we just killed another one! Uh, rank 9. A group of vicious Demodans was trailing through the wastelands, driving a crowd of horribly wounded slaves in front of them. They forced the poor prisoners to insult their gods and desecrate their symbols. Now their evil ceremony has been stopped. The priests are murmuring that each chapel must be able to decide this righteous victory glorified the crusaders' feet. Uh, daily income increase. Nice. And we just got another one. Okay. Magic healing. Eh. Okay. Let's see. Scorching ray. Arcane. And then fireball is arcane. Let's see, this, the curing ones are divine, but I would prefer the arcane just because that makes more sense, I think. Okay, there's another demon army that's ranked 10. I am not going to try that one out. So, in the meantime, let me go up to this army, which actually has a buttload of champions in it, so you need to be very careful. Because a few hundred champions can absolutely tear through anything. Unless, of course, you take advantage of their very low health. Which you absolutely can. Uh, headhunters. Omoxes. Let's see. Do these headhunters have range weapons? Oh, God damn it. They do. Okay. Well, that's, that's just fun. Right? Alright. Um. Personally, I think it would be better if I just focused a fireball on this bunch. Even if it doesn't do that much. Because the champions can't even move that far. The headhunters, on the other hand, I would get rid of as soon as humanly possible, starting with this bunch. And we'll kill this bunch then, because our morale is so great. And the fucking corsings. Um. Luckily for me, the champions have such weak defenses that even my uh, warfighters can kick the crap out of them. Okay. Uh, I'll have you guys move down here. Alright. And then let's go ahead and shoot these uh, Omoxes. Nice! We got Because if they die, their summon units disappear, even though they didn't turn the map for some reason. Oh, and looky here, another treasure. It's not a uh, relic, but it's so useful. A gang of demons and their henchmen in Sconson mud swamps has been destroyed. For many years, they have lured small crusader units here and drowned them in the treacherous stagnant waters. The soldiers fish out all the drowned they can in order to bury them. Upon the corpses, they find some rather valuable trophies, including the claws of a sacred beast. 
These gloves have claws that deal 1d8 slashing damage on unarmed attacks. If the enemy is of evil alignment, they do 2d6 damage instead. Oh my god, that's awesome! Nice! I have to give it to an animal companion. Um, okay, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and have you go uh, the other way. And that is all that army can do, I'm sorry to say. And I also upgraded this army a little bit. These are just wolf riders. I'm going to send them down to match, but that will be for another day. Uh, in the meantime, let's see here. I said I want a treason home to be one of my uh, teleportation areas. So we're going to go ahead and keep building a few things. We got a supply center, a watchtower. Um, we can do an alchemist laboratory and uh, we can do more than one watchtower if we want. But yeah, I'm not going to be putting uh, garrison things there because, you know. Now they do increase the recruitment growth, but honestly, I don't even see what that's see what if that's i honestly feel like that's not worth worrying about on the difficult stuff i picked so also i have way too many i have tons of material and energy points as well oh my god they're in the hundreds for crying out loud i mean okay so we'll go ahead and keep going where i was going to move okay i think there we go. Okay, so I'll grab. Cool. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the uh, Grimwood is all the way over there. So, I think what I'm gonna do. Actually, let me check this out. Oh, we got a couple of things. Okay, the help of noble houses was taken care of. And commander, we tr. Oh my God, really. Swindlers have started a rumor that Commander is a saint. Gullible soldiers are now buying their charms. That lets you contain her hair, cut nails, and other holy relics. Oh boy. Insert context, please! Okay. <laughs> okay. We can choose them, or punish them, which gives us leadership experience. We can leave the con artist B, which includes Supreme's morale. That's not worth doing. There's another option for angels only and manufacture. What's this? Manufacture charms, bring to image, and crusade themed merchandise. Wow. We can go into merchandising? What does this do? Finance points income increased by 20. I have to do a logistics thing and it costs some material points, but I mean, if I needed money, that wouldn't be bad. But I'm not chaotic, so we're going to do that. We're going to punish them because, yeah. False hope begets only regret. The commander has prohibited the sale of her charms and dispelled the movers earning the soul's respect. They value their commander for her honesty and offer divine origins. Yay! Uh, strengthening the chain of command. Leadership. All right. Nice. We gotta do that then. Okay. And these have been officially completed, so we need to go ahead and just port on back. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that right now. Uh, I'll put that out this will be useful when we need to go to Chili Creek in the future. But we don't need any other than that. Especially since I finally got turned to those claw. Ugh, finally. The worst part about it is, I was today years old when I learned where that claw was. It's like, I knew it was there, but I didn't know exactly. I mean, that's just pathetic in my mind. I don't know why it took me so long. And here we are! Uh, looks like we're gonna start with the, uh... Oh, here's land. Land's expression is bad parents, but determined. I've got news. I've slaughtered every crusader within walking distance. Not literally, of course. I've been sparring with them. I came to say that I need a better practice partner. Somebody who fights with more power and more cunning. I'm sure we haven't seen the last of Savamalak, and it's not like other demons are a pushover either. I need to get stronger, and you're the only person who can help me. I don't know anyone who fights like you. I always watch you. <clears throat> in a non-creepy way. You've beaten up every crusader in the cit Citadel? Well, only the ones who agree to fight me. Leon smiles and puffs out his chest a little. No exaggeration. An awful lot of them said yes. I guess he wanted to try to break off the cave freak's horn, but they got more than they bargained for. You've beaten a half the crusaders in Dresden to pull just to pull just to touch your string. Don't you think it's still going a little too far? 
Plan looks even confused. What do you mean? The only people I laid out were the ones who would have been too lazy to do any training. It's practically a public service what I did. Shit, man. He needs to work for me then. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of trying, expecting you to be pleased with my initiative. I feel like I went to all that trouble for nothing. So, what you're saying is you've worked your way through all the Crusaders and Sid, though, and now you want to try me on for size? Uh, no. Land falters. It doesn't sound right when you put it like that. It's just training. Between friends. We might come out of it with a couple new bruises. Big deal, right? The road to success is paved with bumps and bruises, and I should know. Okay, dude. Lan is like a friendlier Lazel. I'm s so Wow, okay. Because I've seen Lazel's second romance quest, and it's freaking hilarious how you do that. Uh, succeeded at an athletics check. Wait, for me? All right. Oh, okay. And I've seen how good you are at melee, so it's definitely be interesting. And there's a code. I think code that wasn't. Okay, you always watch me? Lance out. That's how to laugh. I mean, I keep an eye on you to make sure nothing happens to you. I know it sounds dumb, but I grew up in a tribe where we were always under threat. It was normal to keep track of where everybody was at all times. You know, roughly speaking. That's why I get antsy when I don't know where my companions are and what they're doing. It's like one of my tribes is missing and something's about to happen I can't be undone. I'll train with you. Let's see how you do against me. The human side of land space lights up with a warm spot. Thanks! This means a lot to me. I swear, if you lose, I'll never tell a soul. I'm curious. I'm, I'll bet anything it's probably... Um, there'll probably be a check that's made to see who wins. Because I know in Lazal's uh, companion quest... <laughs> Plan rolls soldiers, this moving up and offering a formal. Sparring with the commander is a great honor for me. That doesn't mean I'm going to go down without a fight. Ready? Fighting with you is an honor for me as well. Let's begin. Oh my god, we're actually fight. Oh wow. Dude. Okay, whoever made that Lazel romance quest was totally looking at this one. Okay. Now he's lawful, so that's not going to help me. Bane and Keen. All right. Um, also, I get the funny feeling in my gut that I don't have the book on hand, but I could be wrong. Alright, let's do it. Bleed for me. Wha bam Wha bam Yeah, that's a cool looking fighting stance. Also, why are we fi- What the fuck, man? I have to use my hands and feet, but you get a Hadouk in my ass? Fuck you! Fools. Oh god. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? Also, I gave him an item that lets him uh, not a pleasant regenerate, which is not good. God damn it! This is, this is okay. You know what? Fuck this. We are you at? Oh, 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 oh! Hold, hold on, hold on a second. He gets a kinetic blast my ass, but I'm not allowed to cast spells. Fuck this! We have to do what's best for ourselves. Oh my god. Like I said, this is, this is, ah, oh, this is going to take a while. I won't regret defending myself. Um, also, does he have, uh, reworked health? I think he does, actually, which is fine by me. So be it then. Well, bam, well, bam. Man, Shadowheart, you got a hell of a roundhouse. Also, I think, is she like, I don't know why, but I feel like she's immune to his, uh, physical blast for some reason. There we go. Looks like I won. Oh, wait, what? Dude! Okay. Lan is breathing heavily and visibly. The last strike could be his last. What? Haven't had enough yet? I can keep this up for hours. He lunges forward, but his attack lacks force, so you dodge easily. Ah. No, I'll be nice. I'll take the hit and yield. He's a good sword. My hand stands over you, panting and disheveled. His eyes are burning, but I will try as if he suddenly sees you in a different position. I didn't mean to. I mean, I did mean to hit you, but, um, it didn't hurt too well. Hit. You did the right thing. You showed your commander that she needs to train more. Land laughs. I guess I should act like that was my plan all along, but really, I saw this as a way to spend some time alone with you and learn a few new techniques. Few new techniques. But if it helped you, I'm glad. And, uh... You look very pretty on the ground like that. Oh shit, what am I saying? I think we should leave it for you today and just act like I'm not laying this mud cave rat and you're not a stunning warrior maiden who felled me with a single glance. We're just comrades who had a good training session together. Sit back. 
Well, that was awesome. <laughs> I swear, there, there need to be more romances in games that come about through kung fu fighting. I'm serious. I would totally do every single one of those romances just to see how fun the fight could be. Even if it were two men. Uh, Arabeth looks extremely worried. Commander, do you remember Private Gorvo who killed his commanding officer? It turns out his case is more complicated than just a dispute over a woman. Our investigation has revealed tensions that are brewing between the officers and the rank and file, and I'd like to talk to you about it. What's the general sentiment among the officers? They deny all accusations with such unanimity, unanimity that they are undoubtedly conspiring together. Many of them come from noble families. They receive their titles simply by virtue of their birthright. They treat soldiers like servants and toys, and speak disparagingly of them. But other than that, there are no complaints about them. They've been educated and trained well, and have proven themselves in the battlefield. If we simply proceed with the case and demote them, we will quell the unrest among the rank and file, but we will lose to support the officers. What's the general sentiment among the rank and file? You're about size. They are ready to riot. What Gorvo did inspired them. There are rumors being spread about attempts to execute some of the officers without waiting for the trial, and lists of the officers' names who have been circulating. They are waiting for your decision, and they have hope that you will acquit Gorvo and punish those who are responsible for hurting them. But I think that as long as you pronounce Gorvo not guilty, that will be enough to placate them. What do you think? I know that my words won't go beyond the wall, so I'll say it like this. It is. I dislike Lelon and those he protects. I'm sorry that Gorvo, who served you loyalty, loyally in a cause of crusade, was driven to murder and almost suicide at the cruel whims of others. Whatever the outcome of the case, the fact that this was allowed to happen in the first place is a stain on our entire army. Don't worry, both Gorvo and those who are him will receive a fair trial. Let's begin. You're both not. Yes, Commander. I believe that you are fair and that you will listen to your heart when making such consequential decisions. Oh, yes. I will totally listen to my heart and not that eight-foot guy with uh, incredibly fiery wings back there. I totally promise I say as I have my fingers crossed behind my back. Private Gorvo is accused of murdering Damar, his commanding officer. The murder was committed with a dagger in a barracks in the presence of more than three witnesses. Private Gorvo claims he did it out of desperation and fear of the torture inflicted by Damar on his soldiers. Some of the witnesses we interrogated confirmed that his account, and some claimed the murder was committed out of revenge because Gorvo's lover chose Damar over him. However, we failed to locate this woman. She was the last seen in Canabras. What do you say to this, defendant? The same thing that I said before. Damar was a scoundrel and a sadist, and Officer Lullen, who has been crying on every corner that is all the fault of some woman, has always covered for Damar and his friends. I had no choice but to kill Damar, and if the commander can see the people as they say, the truth will come out. Commander, before you deliver your verdict, remember that a rash decision in this case might lower the army's morale. Damar is not the only officer taking advantage of his position. There are many more. But if we demote them all, we won't have enough officers. If you execute Gorvo, on the other hand, soldiers will revolt, and you consider him a hero. It takes a good deal of finesse to the thread the needle, doesn't it? But remember, the document you signed right before the murder, an order from Officer Damar to appear before the court and answer for all the atrocities he had committed. Melies lowers his voice conspiratorially and looks you in the eye. Perhaps the order slipped your mind, or it might have been lost, but I'm sure such a document exists, if you need it in a difficult situation. Okay, so the options are, and the thing you have to remember with uh, um, Eon is that there's like three paths to it. There's true Eon, which if I remember correctly is usually the top option in these things, and then right after that is a more renegade Eon. And then right below that is the devil path, if I remember correctly. So the first option is for Private Gorvo to be executed for the murder of a superior officer. That's all it requires. The second option is for him to be pardoned but sent to the condemned. And then number three is I made my decision a long ago. The order for Demar to appear before the court was signed the day before Gorvo murdered him. Now all I can do is send Gorvo to the condemned. And according to this, it says, perhaps the order was in mind. Okay. An order for us to murder. Right before the murder. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, I think this is the one that gets me closer to the devil. Because the problem with doing the devil path is that you have to be on really good terms with Milius to have an easy end. Otherwise, you gotta s pass a scary high diplomacy check. So, we'll go ahead and do this then. 
Milius. Let's see here. The commander has spoken, and the consequences of your words are on the water. Okay. Okay. You got very lucky with the commander. The commander already knew everything Tamara was doing. It only required confirmation. If Gorvo hadn't taken matters into his own hands, the court would have already had all the confessions it needed. Congratulations, boy. You've made such a mess of this case, the commander will be trying to untangle it for the rest of the crusade. I... I ruined everything. Forgive me, commander. I should have trusted you, and I... Because of me, this case won't ever come to anything, and all those who are guilty will go to ground. What have I done? You will be able to atone for what you've done and serve the commander on the front lines. Let's have a chat after the trial, and I'll tell you about a contract that will interest you. Ah! <laughs> we got him! Got him! Nice. All right. It's time to look into the eyes of the Eon and see your true self. So I gotta. I gotta look at my pretty face in the mirror. All right. And would you look at that? The Eon theme is playing in the background. Um. Hang on. Oh, it's as high as it Oh, really? Okay, fine, whatever. Okay. The Eon is looking at you from the mirror, the only being in the entire universe who feels and shares your burden. He is ready to share with you the memory held in common by all. Eons preserved carefully through all eternity. He is ready to listen to you whenever you want to share. Is only is only here for you. The mirror is waiting. Allow the Eon to speak with you. The Eon nods the earth slice so slightly, encouraging you to begin your story. Again. The judgments were made for profit, not truth. The mind that made the decision sought loopholes like a cornered rat searching for an escape. The heart that perceives injustice was of silence, blinded, and deafened. The Eon is silent. Mortal consciousness habitually interprets the silence as a sign of indignation, but in fact the Eon is just parsing through memories. All the moments of your trial, every word, every thought, every judgment, it seems a being of the material plane, flaunting its capabilities and intellect, not an Eon. Your eyes are now sharp enough to see what the Eon is sh uh, showing you. It's a place where something so unnatural happened, the very universe cried out with pain and fury. The order of things was violated. Irreversibly so? Eon is inexorably drawn to there to correct everything. And you see the place as clearly as if the map of the land has been spread out before you. It's an abandoned hut, deep within a territory corrupted by the wound. But what is really hidden there? Desolate hovel. Oh my, we just found ourselves a new place to explore, and that's very exciting. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, clock is unfortunately a little high, so I am going to go ahead and stop it here to uh, make sure the video doesn't run too long, I mean, compared to what I normally run it, so we're going to leave it here, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully next time we should get to Grimwood, and then maybe we'll check out the Desolate Hovel as well but for now that's gonna be it so thank you guys so much for watching and i do hope to see you in the next one until then take care of yourselves and i wish you interesting adventures farewell